Straight out of a cunt. <laughs> I got a hard out at 12.10. Get the fuck out of here. I don't know if you could fit that in a... <laughs> I got a hard out at 12. At 12.05, you go. Hey, it's 10, bro. I'm out. It's, I got to be it's, out. Is my, uh, my AC coming through? I just want to make sure it's not. you're not no. getting no feedback. All right, cool. No, not at all. Not at all, man. Well, fellas, what's happening? Audience, what's happening? Welcome back to another episode of Straight Out of a Comic Book. You already know how the vibes is here. We've been talking Marvel. We've been talking DC. Uh, but we want to show, like, we got a little range. So we talking cartoon. Pun intended. Yeah. Ranger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, indeed. The, uh, we are talking about today. Chippendale. Ch -ch 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 Chippendale. Not to be confused with the stripper. <laughs> Not to be, but then, and the, the one that they talked about at the beginning of the movie, the other guy. I, Which, I didn't know about that one. That one, I, I was mean, like, wait, what? I did not you didn't know about, about it. Oh, y'all talking about the Alvin and the Chipmunks? The chip, no, that no, chip? No. No, 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 no. The chip that they mentioned in the beginning of the movie before they mentioned the Chip and Dale dancers. There was some other like chip something that they mentioned. Oh, got you. It was like an explorer or something. Yeah. Some white dude that don't know any of us know about. <laughs> Let me tell um, you though, if I if I may, first of all, Will Fair, how are you, brother? It's good, it's good to see you. Your hair's looking healthy. You. you understand? Thank you. Thank you. Thank it's you, looking man. strong. Uh Will, I gotta tell you, man. We were in a group chat. <clears throat> For those of you guys who don't know. The straight out of the comic book, Will Ferrell is the anomaly, literally. But we got this group chat going on. All four of us are in there. And I don't know if it was Will first or Deuces that was like, or was it Dion? I can't remember who said it first. They were like, yo, yo, this Chip and Dale movie is crazy. Okay, so it was Dion. <laughs> Dion. And was I had a plan to watch it anyway, but I was like, I'll get to it when I get to it. And Dion had so much <laughs> emphasis on how great this movie was. I say, well, God damn it, I'm about to watch it right now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I turned that movie on. Me and Tangerine and my wife, we were watching it. I paused that movie at least, <laughs> at least 85 times, bro, because I had to laugh hard as fuck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then I had to say, oh my God, this is so brilliant because X, Y, and Z. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Best yeah, comedy of the year so far. Yeah. I Flat out. It. I loved it. Flat I loved out. It. I loved yeah. it. Then yeah. my head was like, I always saw Chip and Dale's bigger than Alvin and Chipmunks. You wild. So when Alvin and Chipmunks came out first, what? what? Uh -huh. Hold we, on, we gotta, hold on. I'm, I'm sorry, did you just say the 1993 Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers was bigger than the Alvin That's what and he Chip said. Yes. To him. I, I, I didn't watch Alvin and Chip Monks. Okay, here's the thing. I want you to notice because, Will, I'm going to save you the trouble. Dion, I want you to understand just because you don't watch something <laughs> doesn't mean the most that it's not. The most important of my sentence was I never. Okay. Nigga, I didn't say yes. we. Yes, but what I'm saying is. <laughs> Even though I didn't watch uh, Twilight, I know it was way bigger than fucking uh, Power Rangers in space. That's what I was trying to say. Nigga, stop it. You're being this... a, a nuisance right now. A nuisance. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know how, you know the comparisons of like Heathcliffs and Garfield? Uh -huh. like two yellow cats. In my head, like Garfield's the biggest one. But yeah. there's an audience for Heathcliff. When there's an audience for Chipmunks. And Chippendales, I was like, I'm gonna go this direction. Take the you know? S off yeah, Chippendale, but, you, but, you, but, but you, definitely you, yes. But you said bigger, though. Yeah. That's like saying, you know what, Darkwing Duck is way bigger than uh, Donald Duck, <laughs> right? <laughs> what? Donald, Darkwing Duck is great. Don't get me it's wrong, great, but right. bigger <laughs> than Donald. <laughs> bigger I than Donald. Man. Anywho, <laughs> I can't agree with that. But I will. But I will just, just like how CT though said, like you are, you are absolutely correct on what you put in the in the group chat because Ooh. I went watched and I was like, because I saw like the reviews and stuff, and people were trying to like you know talk down on it and stuff. Mm. And so me, I was a little hesitant because I was like, man, I feel like this is another thing that we loved as kids, and they made it for them. Yeah. Yeah. No, just like how you said, Dion. This is not for these is, kids. That they won't get none us. of these. They won't get a lot of these references. It's a good no. story. 
But it, it was, was like it was like they made it seem like they was child stars and all these niggas just falling <laughs> off. And I was yo, like, it was brilliant. brilliant. It was amazing. It, it was it, not it, a kid's movie. It literally all. showed. So t- to your point, Dion. Kids of today will not get the reference. This movie, I don't even know how they got away with making this PG <laughs> because this was not a PG movie. There were references to sex, drugs, and yeah. mayhem in this Man. movie. <laughs> and the, here's the thing. This is what I'll say before I forget. What I what I hate, uh, Will, to your point, what I hate when they've done all of these reboots to these children's shows that we watched is that they made them similar to then but cgi right yeah this movie showed that yo chip and dales they were acting yeah. they had <laughs> they, they had a tv show okay yeah. yes. they were characters yeah. and after that show got canceled actually here's why the show got canceled because right. this nigga got offered a spinoff <laughs> and the shit deal. didn't work he said fuck me and my childhood friendship <laughs> and why their lives turned out the way oh, that they did God. and it was so it was so based on reality yes. that it made sense. Bro, yes. even, even down to the small part, the whole fact that like the CGI was a surgery. Like, oh, yes, you know, I got the yes. CGI surgery, man. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> you look different. He said, Yeah, I got the CGI got surgery. The CGI. We all doing it. <laughs> man, we but it was like it. How, how he broke it, but how they even broke down a lot of stuff like that. Like, even like Baloo, Baloo got the surgery. So mm-hmm. it was like, got the, the surgery. surgery. Yeah, yeah. But then it was like, how, was like how, he was got like the reboot. Next, next thing you know, we gonna get the reboot. We gonna get the reboot. <laughs> but it was like it was so cool, like how you said, uh, CT. It was so written in real life because it was like, yes. yo, this is how I would have seen them turn yeah. out. Right Hell on the on the Comic Con circuit, Chip doing something that you wouldn't think he doing because he was yeah. always the star and the fearless one. And then yeah. like to see him like at the point when they got kidnapped and they yes. start talking in their original voice. I'm like, yes. Nigga. Yes. That's when it became real. That's what it was as like. they was writing. As they was writing, he was like, "Maybe we can talk like this." Like, oh, I like that. I yeah. like that. <laughs> I, I like that. that. <laughs> I like. That. So they had an accent for the cartoon. Yeah. Bro, it was so incredible because when you're watching these characters, first of all, if you didn't finish the movie and go back and watch episode one of Chippendale just to see the difference, yeah, it, yeah. man, yeah. I look at it completely different now with another level of respect, man. Yeah, they, they like that, I, that flip. I know that when we talk about in the chat, like when Dion was you know telling everybody to watch it. So like what the way I got into it, I was like I woke up and I was like why is ugly sonic tre- trending? No! And, uh, and so I saw the clip and I was like what is this? I was like is this tripping now? I was like I'm watching this now. <laughs> they, they, ugly ooh, they Sonic that, fam. They wrote that fast cuz that was Bro. <laughs> Bro, ugly yeah. so- do you understand the level of praise i have for this movie for them to even say ugly sonic and then to see how ugly sonic was on some hollywood shit <laughs> and it's like, with it. oh this yeah, was he genius said, he said, oh shit my teeth bit my tongue right. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody kept seeing his human teeth when they look at him yeah. <laughs> the thing is they took they took every insult the internet gave Sonic and emphasized on it. They was like, his teeth was ugly, his eyes were separated. <laughs> he had the whiskers. He's like, he was too hairy. He didn't have gloves on. They kept showing him, looking at all the things that people were complaining about. <laughs> but what I liked about it too was that it it touched on so many ways of like, and, and it's gonna lead to this next point of where I'm getting to. When it was like uh, I, a while back, I, me and my friends were talking about it. it's like, yo, somebody spent a lot of time designing that Sonic, and the mm. fact that we like bitched about it and they had to scrap that shit, I was like, yo, I wonder how they feel. Like, yo, all this work and it'll never get shown, but for them to spin it like that. Yeah. So he get a chance to be able to do stuff. It was like, yo, not even that. They made him a person. Yeah. A person. Mm-hmm. They because you got to go with the theme of Chip and Dale. These are actors. So right. Ugly Sonic is an actor that got he recast. Got yeah. Yeah. He got recast. <laughs> he got recast. <laughs> we can't use you, bro. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm really curious in the business side, how were they able to have Batman in there? Looney Tunes. Like Sega stuff. How do they this, implement this is all how, that stuff in there without getting this how I figured it out. This is how I figured that out. They, whoever, whoever did it, and we saw this similar. So, however they did it, that's how Disney did this. Roger Rabbit. 
Yep. This oh. is and technically this is a Roger Rabbit universe. If yeah. if you really think about it, they were the first ones to establish us interacting with cartoons in real life. Yeah. Shout out to, shout out to yeah. Dion with the jug. This <laughs> 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 fool. This and he got ice. <laughs> he got ice in it. <laughs> Keep going. But it, but it also we saw the cameo with Roger Rabbit, so it's just yep. like a same lot of voice these, too. Yeah, same, same voice. Yeah. So it's like I think a lot. I think it really just kind of flexed and showed how much really is under Disney that we didn't even know that yeah. they owned. But Wait, real was- real quick, man. Dion, I, I know we was gonna breeze past this brother, but listen, man, I, I've had enough of this <laughs> simply lemonade bottle. You keep filling up with water, <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you why, man. You own a studio, okay? Don't you he own? Two? He owns two studios owns where people two. can come and rent them out. LTE. <sighs> Listen, man, if I was on a business call with you and you told me about your <laughs> studio and I saw you drinking out of this lemonade container, I'd say I'm taking my business elsewhere, brother. I just want to let you know that. <laughs> hey, Dion, I would also let you know I am the complete opposite. If you would have pulled that out in a business meeting, I would have been sold. It's, it's an like, icebreaker. Hey, that's, hey, that's in it. Pun in icebreaker. <laughs> hey, I was like, hey, that's just point, it's a fifth member of the group, man. <laughs> <laughs> just call it simply be on niggas. It's simply be on. That's it. Hey, but simply to get back, you know what? Also, I love that there was tears to the cartoons, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh-oh. The, the, like, like the like the Coca Cola bear was like he fanned out when he saw Baloo. Yeah, like, like, it's you. Excited. It's you. That was so hold dope. On, hold on, the the layers. Talk about layers, nigga. The five voices of Seth Rogen. Ooh, Yo, I love it. I had to pause that. I had to pause the that. Layers? I loved it. Yo, First I seen boom. Boomba, and then the, the mantis came in. Yeah. Yep. The blob. I was like, I was I like, like, what? like this. Yeah. That's what we do, and even his his character he playing. From yes, like, you remember that two thousands when they were trying to make everything <laughs> look real, but their faces didn't move, and I was like, "That was the best." You said, yeah. "I'm clearly looking at you. Look at me. Look at you in your eyes." <laughs> he has that <laughs> Express syndrome. Yeah. <laughs> yo, oh my god. It, yo, it was just the way that they turned even just some of the smallest things that we forget into what they did like oh, even peter pan i would say even the plot the plot yeah. the whole plot Brilliant. of what was going down bootlegging. Yeah. oh my god bootlegging, no, bootlegging bro when they when they showed the bootlegging part <laughs> i had to pause it because i say this might be the greatest animated film come on that i've seen yes. since the original yes. lion king yeah yes. bro it was so spot on because we all know we've seen some <laughs> yeah. bootleg cartoons. Yep. And to know that these are the actors who've been redrawn <laughs> yeah, doing the bootlegs yep. and the let's titles. Get the, let's get to the coup de grace. The reason how they got here. This nigga Monterey Jack was strung out on <laughs> <Strong> out. <laughs> He said, hey, man, I came up short. I just want to know if I can get some cash, man. The Valley <laughs> niggas. Said, yeah. said, you know, Valley dudes is out of control. Why are you mess with them? He said, man, don't man, just get past that, man. Can Come I on, Chip, I need that? your help. Need your help, <laughs> mate. Need your help, mate. Well, well, crack some house, cheese man. I bought two That's what I'm saying. No, they went to a trap cheese <laughs> house. He said, man, so I, go got find cheese, got, Jack. I got cheese trails that can have you smelling to the sky. <laughs> to the sky. <laughs> oh. They said, if cheese you ain't trying trails, get out. Oh, you definitely uh, cop. I was like, you definitely is- cop. <laughs> you are slinging cheese out of here. Bro, when that one mouse yeah. was smelling the cheese all the way to the ceiling. And he hit the cylinder. Yeah, the, the, the fact that it was a front, it, that the fact that like he was yes. like, like that whole street was a front. It was like front, bro. <laughs> like no, nah, no, nah, this like she, she got she got she got muffin fights in the back. Like bro, like what <laughs> muffin fight, bro? Like this, just, it just watching this movie just even makes you expand more into thinking about like your childhood characters yes. in a whole different light now. Yeah, because yes. it was like even like seeing that it was like yo like imagine this bootleg but it had like a darker tone like that's some real stuff yeah. like I ain't gonna lie like even the tone of like when they show like Monterey Jack's beard and it was like yo oh they might have really lost this dude you start <laughs> thinking about it it's like yo think about it. this was like trafficking yeah like, you know, this was taken you got forty eight hours and he gone. Yeah. And then you see Peter Pan's origin story. Yeah, he say, I got my first big role in Hollywood. I was a big star. And then he looked in the mirror with that stubble. And he's like, I started getting, 
I start getting old. <laughs> and they threw me out. He <laughs> could have easily shaved, but he was like, hey, how he was going to shave it for me? Oh, my God. <laughs> the, the legs, though, too. It was like, oh. like you're so good. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, to talk about the Easter eggs, like, I don't know why me seeing McGruff in the background being a pencil pusher took me out like That's it was crazy. just he was just so big there just <laughs> just working at the desk pencil pushing guys yeah, buddy the, I love the movie. i'm gonna put it in the chat man if y'all get a chance watch new rock stars they did an easter egg for everything every every game you know, oh, when right. i say the mm-hmm. director and writing of this shit i was like nigga it's too much to unpack here yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. no it's it but it definitely unlocked and i really i hope that this was successful enough for them to start to kind of catch on to that new trend. Yes. And I keep, and I, and I'm calling it the Roger, Roger rabbit universe, just so, you know, just to give him his respect, Yeah. but they need to keep doing stuff like this for us. Like don't do, don't do reboots of our childhood. Give us that. Yeah. Let us see stuff like that. Because now it makes me want to go. Cause I never watched the Alvin and the chipmunks movies that they redone. Cause I was like, this is not, I'm not the audience. And he, they even touched on before I even say Alvin and Chipmunks. They even touched on <laughs> the rapping. They like, oh, because every cartoon has to rap, and then they made the rapping scene so trash. Oh. And then at the very end, when they were like, yeah, oh, you know, they're gonna make an R and B song out of it, even though everybody wants to hear the original anyway. And then the, like, the exactly. R and B came on, but the song was so fire. It was yeah. like downloaded it immediately. Okay? I was yeah. Michelle singing it during the credits. I was like, "Woo!" I and in that, I like how they did the credits too because it. Damn it, dude! It keeps on stopping. This internet janky. Yeah, um, he's season playing. two, <laughs> but it, <laughs> yeah, I, it paid <laughs> off on, on some on, on a lot of the jokes. Like they show like the Muppet fights, and they show like certain things in the credits that on the Disney that, Plus app. Yeah, like if you if you remember, like that, it was in the format of the Disney Plus app. I'm like, yeah, bro, yeah. what? But oh, I want to see Alvin and the Chip because I love the cartoon Alvin and the Chipmunks. Like, just off personality alone, you would know who a lot of my favorite characters were from these cartoons. Like, I loved Garfield. I loved Alvin. I even loved that Alvin had him a little girlfriend, and his girlfriend was like him. You know what yeah, I mean? Chipettes. Um, but yeah, the Chipettes. <laughs> but to see, it's like, what would that be? Like, would that now, if we were to rewrite Alvin and the Chipmunks and make it an actual movie, you got to make them uh, former rock stars, and now mm-hmm. they done fell off, and they got to work with new SoundCloud people or some shit like that, and the, the music games change. Right? Yeah. Like, Yo, Chip and Dale, and... They broke up as a group. I'm going to mm-hmm. give you another level. We didn't even realize this. Chip and Dale... They showed us the child star thing. I mean, that they, they were TV stars and the show ended and they went their different ways. He's selling insurance. He's doing the con circuit. But what you didn't even realize is that these motherfuckers had a mystery to solve in real life, yes. which correlated <laughs> back to the cartoon and brings us yes. right back to why the fuck we were there in the first place. <laughs> yes, indeed. What? Like, it it like, do you realize we were actors? Don't tell me any of this, any of this information. He, was, <laughs> he said, "Hey guys, I got a clue for you." He said, "Hey, hey, 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 do you understand? We were actors, right? Yeah. We were actors. We don't solve yeah. mysteries." And what, did you just find a clue to this? <laughs> what was we solved the mysteries? What did you <laughs> solve? <laughs> what, what I found hilarious. Is- he was pissed, like, hey, 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 do you realize we were actors? <laughs> and the fact that all his all, all his ideas was based off of episodes. Yes. Like, yes. He had no original idea on how None. To None. But, but, but here's worked. the thing. It worked perfectly. Right. And we thought that the dark-skinned girl, she was beautiful. She did a great job. Okay. We thought that she was really the yeah. villain, and yeah. they really threw us for a loop. I like that. Did they, 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 they catch out like that? Because you know what's funny? When you see J.K. Uh, Simmons, you think he's going to be a bad guy off top, but then you remember he's done a lot of roles, so he mm-hmm. might be a good guy. And then they yeah. get away really- from me. I was like, Guppy's, Gupp, Guppy Jr. is the bad guy. It got You got you got to be. I was just but like, just because how he was talking. I, it, they also make fun of, dude, it's too obvious. The captain will not be the villain. That's that's, that's too cliche, man. We've we seen yeah. this several times. Right. We're like, yeah, we're like wow. He really was. He really <laughs> was. Then, but what did you tell me? <laughs> if it ain't broke, don't, don't, don't fix it. <laughs> even, even the fact that he didn't have like a real purpose, he was like, 
I, I just like money. Like, I just want money. What are you talking like, about? My, he my had, mom a, he had a fake backstory. He said, yeah, I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm, I'm lying. lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm I just did it for the money. That was it. <laughs> but yo, even seeing some of the character oh. styles that they acknowledge too, like even like Disney acknowledging like Rick and Morty's drawing style, like when they were analyzing uh, Chippendale and showing yeah. the different versions they could be, just yeah. showing all the different styles. I think also too, like uh, they had like an anime version of them as well too. So it's just like yeah. for them to be so in tune, like for us and today's stuff, it's mm-hmm. like this was a great combination. And to for them to use Chippendale. Yeah. Out of everybody, out of everybody, yeah. I love it. It was love perfect. It. Even like how you said, C, uh, CT, like back to the whole Alvin thing. There's mm-hmm. such a room for that. And I do want to get into that of basically which childhood cartoons based off of this universe oh, can you boy. think of and would imagine what they're doing right now? So like even like how CT <laughs> said, if they got a movie, what happens if they lost all? They never had their masters to any of their stuff. Yeah. Ooh. So here's what if Dave screwed them Ooh. all? Like, I, months, I never agree. got credit for their stuff. The yeah. end scene credit, I agree. I want a Darkwing Duck in this universe. Yes. Uh, think about Darkwing, Darkwing Duck and how how he's got to be he next. Was. They, so they, now in this, they kind of hint to that, right? Yeah, they did. They did. They did hint to like, I yeah. think we might see the different worlds of this, like, you know, again, calling yeah. it the Roger Rabbit universe, because like I said, the plot was very dark. They may have made it look very light, but like, yo, bootlegging and trafficking cartoons. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. That's heavy. I just want to know what their pitch was. Like, how do you pitch this to this this kid it, company. It, this is groundbreaking. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, Roger Rabbit, but this is still groundbreaking. As yeah. it, no, like, it, it, it still is. Yeah. No, it's groundbreaking because, like, Roger Rabbit stuff was very, like, it was kind of older. And so, like, you kind of got the concept. Like, somebody was trying to kill him. And that was really, so they didn't really jump into anything like that. But even too, what the biggest thing they did jump into was segregation. Mm-hmm. And so at the time they would they had Roger Rabbit set, that made sense. It was like, yo, cartoons of black people and regular people don't want you here. Like, yo, go back to Toon World. We don't want you here. Go do your stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that was a big takeaway from them. So to bring that back to where this is the first time we've not only seen humans and cartoons interact in a movie, but we actually see cartoons making a living outside of the character in which they were based on. Yes. Yes. Yeah, love it. And then CT, just like you, man, I used to I used to love Chip and Dale. How hard did you laugh when Zipper finally talked and that was that deep ass voice? <laughs> the all same man. Yo. <laughs> Yo, when he <laughs> greetings and salutations, everyone. <laughs> was that Dennis Haysbert or was it that was, my yes, guy? Yes, Dennis Haysbert? Haysbert. Okay. Okay. And, he played, uh, he, and he played the polar bear. So oh, I, thought that was that Tim Ro- I thought that was Tim Robinson. Yeah, I thought it was Tim Robinson. That played the polar bear. The white polar bear? The, yeah, the, I thought that was Tim Robinson. He doubled up, up. He doubled up on characters. He doubled yeah, because Tim characters. Robinson is in the movie, but I didn't know what he voiced. I think oh, Tim, Robinson. Tim Robinson did Ugly Sonic. Right, Devon, there we go. Devon wow. McDonald did Jimmy the Polar Bear. Okay, Who? okay. Devon McDonald? I don't know who that is. <laughs> I'm on the IMDb right now. Okay, dang. Oh, Tim Robinson was yeah. Ugly Sonic. That makes sense now. That's funny. That oh, is funny. <laughs> Yeah, man, I would like to see um Will Arnett is sweet feet. That was classic. Yeah. Eric yeah. Banner's Monterey that name Jack. Was sneaky as hell. That it name was. was sneaky. Sweet Pete. Sweet Pete. Not it was very Pete sneaky. Man? Yeah. Nice. Now you know what would have been real cool though? Some things they did kind of miss. That would have been very funny if they were chasing Peter Pan and that dude threw like uh he opened something where a whole bunch of stuff fell. And it's his peanut butter. You remember I would have loved it. Peanut butter? Oh. That would have been hilarious. That would have been incredible. That would have, yeah. That, that was, listen. Titles, hold on. The, 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 the sneaky little titles they had in there was like that. Mr. Doubtfire, Mr. <laughs> Doubtfire with Meryl yep. Street. He like same Mr. family, same family, same chaos. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh old boy from then, Harry uh, Potter, he had the uh he had the was well, not the Calvin, the Gucci ad. Yep. Oh, <laughs> Bro, that Fast and the Furious babies, dog, Yo, that fucking rescue, movie. Vin Diesel with the Rescue Rangers. I was yeah. like, I gotta see this now, <laughs> bro. Yeah, but yeah. I definitely want to see Darkwing Duck be next because yeah. they opened the door for that wide open. Yeah, yeah. wide open. Yeah. People yeah. popped like you had yeah. to see it and be hype as fuck. Yeah, because mm-hmm. yeah. it because it could be the same thing like with Alvin. Like, imagine if Darkwing Duck really has to be Darkwing Duck. Yo. 
right? Yeah. But like, even think about like in today's world, all the superheroes are popping. So Darkwing Duck, probably like it's my time. Like, look, they got mm-hmm. Marvel, they got DC, they got to call me. You know, yep. like yeah. I can see the story right now, though. Like, oh be like, Yo, this is how I pitched it to Tanj. This I pitched it to Tangerine oh. that night we were watching Chippendale. I said, this is how they do Darkwing Duck. Darkwing Duck was truly a hero and he hung up his cape. And then as the years went by, all these superheroes popped up and everybody got popular and he was fine because cities were safe. And then they, a lot of the star heroes got captured and he has to come out and try to save these heroes. And oh, in him trying yeah. to save these heroes, he needs help from his own rogues gallery. Yep. Oh, that and, fire. And, and others you would think for him to show like <laughs> there's a complex of like him not getting the respect he deserves. So it's Ooh. like stuff he reaches out to don't help. So like, for instance, he'd be like, yo, we're going to need some help. I think we're going to need a dark night. And then it comes in and then you see the cow raising up, but it's Lego Batman. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. He went to all the auditions throughout the years. You'll see him like as, in like, as, as Captain America in, the, in it, sitting in the chair. You'll see him as like <laughs> Iron Man. Like, damn, I didn't get the role. Come on, David. You said that was, this was for me. <laughs> Bro, that would be Yo, real be amazing. That would be great. Another one I'd like to see yeah. is Tiny Toons. I want to see what happens to them and a school when they get older. So what happened to when they get older? What happened to all of them? Yeah, like yo, like even the friction of like Buster never being able to get out of Bug Shadow. (laughs) Oh, yeah, because you know what? That why why that would be extra fire because you know Chip and Dale they didn't become famous until they was grown up, so they didn't really address kid stars in this movie. And Tiny Toons was kids. So like yeah. now you got you got that whole storyline like oh that'll be fire, yeah. I'm really glad in the movie for Chip and Dale that uh, it came out that Chip told Dale you know what you actually helped me because I didn't have any friends and I saw mm-hmm. you sitting there and I came and walked up because in the like throughout the whole movie he kept saying after all I've done for you and I hated yeah. that line. Because I'm like, all you've done for him, you didn't do anything but be his friend. You make it seem like he owes you for being his friend. Right. Yeah, but that, but I love, but I did love like that relationship because too. the two of them felt so real, and it was just yeah. like, yo, if you've ever seen anything like when stuff like that happens with Hollywood and stuff, it's like, yo, you do kind of start to forget some things that happen and everything, and it's like you blame him because he left, but yeah. just like how Dale said, it was just like I just wanted to make you make it feel like you needed me. You always made yeah. it feel like, yo, I was just, you're dragging me along. And like, I can't do anything for you. And it's just like, yo, it's just like in one thing to just say, hey, man, I appreciate everything that you've done for me. Yeah, yeah that and that'd be real, man. That, just, that definitely tug on your heartstrings when you think mm-hmm. about it, because you start looking at people in your own life. Right. And yeah. you're like, damn, like I can honestly admit that I've done that more than five or ten times where I've been like, I've given the energy that I don't need a particular person and be like, I don't need, you know what I mean? And then you're like, damn, I need this person. And yeah. hopefully you have the opportunity to say that to the person before too much time goes by and you don't get the opportunity. But yeah, that that definitely hit my heartstrings. When- I'm going to give, give you two points, which was cold. And I'm going to tie everything back together. Mm-hmm. When he was like, when Dale was like, dude, why do you need me for? All y'all do is just hit me upside the head and call me dumb. He was like, so, I mean, I want to kind of feel like I'm in a I'm in the light. So that's why I was, that was good inspiration. Like, yeah, I'm just the punchline. So I'm not really the important part of the character. So I'm saying that to pinpoint <clears throat> in the beginning, this was foreshadowing of the entire movie. When they had that mock episode where he hit him in the head with the wrench mm-hmm. and, the, and the little tiny yeah. little bird went around his head. And that's how the episode ended. That was at the end when that he was, was like, genius. let's do it. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. He was like, ding. But the birds was like, don't you answer that phone. That was genius. <laughs> that was they genius. Calling me, baby. They calling me. They calling me. You can't stop what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> they calling me. And it was oh. the same villain. Yeah. Out of the entire movie he said, Oh, I can't resist the, 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 the birds. I was like, yeah. They tied this back together. They tied, nigga, it was a fucking bow with yes, a knot on that thing. That, 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 that shit was incredible. What, that's what Duke yeah. said. It was just another ode to the detail you played. Like, yo, Woo! so really down to the point to where, yo, y'all give the birds their own origin. Like, we, yeah. we, we know what they do. It's like, yo, we're on call. Y'all need to get the it's like, <laughs> you ready for this? I'm a I just realized why the movie's so good. 
You just realized that. No, no, no. Check me out. <laughs> I realized what the movie so good. This movie felt like they didn't have any studio input or rewrites they had to do. I feel like this is directly mm -hmm. from the writers. Yep. Mm -hmm. The way that they pitched it. Here's the script. Let's shoot it. That's how it felt yep. compared right. to uh, what if we change this and what if we added this in there? You know what I mean? It yep. felt like, yep. hey, here's the script. Let's go. And, and they gave the right animals. Yeah. Andy, uh, uh, Andy, is it Andy or Andy Sandberg and Andy Sandberg, uh, yeah. John Mulaney yep. on yeah. Jimmy Kimmel? I think they were shooting a shot at. Uh, Disney for not making it in the movie theater because they had said we have uh, Chippendales that's going to be on Disney Plus. Uh, they kept saying on Disney Plus, as in like this should have been in movies, man. Yeah, it, oh. it kept saying it like, dude, like, like they're like, hey, yeah, we got a movie coming out on Disney Plus. And I was like, why do they keep saying it like that? Here's like, the funny thing: what if that was a trade off? What if like I just said, here's the script as is, <laughs> let's shoot it, and Disney's like, all right, but if we're gonna do it as is, it's going straight to Disney Plus. Oh. I, I, I know mean, one that, thing. I, the next one, the next one is going to be in the movies because they see it yeah. now. They see I mean, it. It can, now. It, can, it can be, but also too, I think not only that, but also we got to keep in mind too. We're still now kind of just coming out this pandemic, and box offices mm -hmm. still yeah. ain't really hitting like that. Like you, they're know not fucking you, with like, nothing but Marvel movies. Yeah, yeah. And, but even too, like the Marvel and the Batman's, even they not pulling in like what they would regularly pull had we not been, you know, post pandemic and stuff like that. So yeah. as though as as good as Chippendale is. I don't think it would have got the success it could have if no. it did go to theaters right yeah, now. Yeah, you're right. Because I'm no. thinking about we would have brought our children and, and people, if they don't have children, they wouldn't have went. They'd yeah. Probably like, it, it's oh. it's already bunkers. If they, By but, going off the trailer alone, you'd be like, mm -hmm. why is Dale CGI and, and Chip? And he's cartoon. But that's even more genius. But at the same time, you got to understand, Dion, movies depend on friends like you. Right. Mm -hmm. So movies depend on friends like you being the voice to say, yo, mm -hmm. you got to go see this movie. And then people yeah. are like, well, man, I'm, all right, I'm going to go check it yeah. out. And then those people go tell their friend like that's mm -hmm. what uh, in theater movies do. So mm -hmm. even with a Doctor Strange or a No Way Home, Spider-Man. Um, nobody knew, we had our suspicions that Tobey Maguire and Andrew yeah. would be in it. But we went because they promised us another spider-man movie yeah. and it was gonna be in theaters so when we went you come back home and you say yo go see it so that that's word of mouth got them over marvel. a billy immediately huh? yeah, like but that's from marvel. yeah but i think what dion pointed out too though there is this taboo of being an adult and go and see that like even like some of my right. friends like got a right. little like hesitant about going to see sonic 2 it was like yeah. yo unless you got a kid with you right. and i ain't gonna go see sonic 2 it's like you grew up on this you <laughs> right. go see batman <laughs> which is what you right. grew up on you won't go see sonic though right but to, CT, but to ct's point of having people to say yo go see this i think whoever Whoever's idea was to leak the high death version of ugly sonic and that clip, <laughs> that was smart yeah, yeah. Because yeah. the internet ate that up and yes. that made a lot of people go see it. And that was a lot of people like, yo, see this, but watch this clip. And I don't think y'all, I don't think y'all if I told y'all three niggas, like, nigga, listen to me, go watch Paw Patrol. It's yes. gonna blow your fucking mind. You be like, yes. nigga, pipe down. No, if you, if you say no, it like that, no, if you said it like I, that, I would, I would see yeah, it. I would go see it. But like you saying though. I would have if you tell me it's on Disney Plus. All right, I'll check it out. Yeah. Because I respect your opinion. Right. If you tell me, yo, you gotta go see Paw Patrol by yourself in the theater. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah that's a good point. That's a good point. Okay. How y'all doing, that's kids? Good. I'm here that's to see good. my friend. Tell me go watch it. But again, it's, but it's, it's, it's the passion. Ahead. Like I said, if you yeah. if you said it like that, Dion, with those words and that, I'm like, okay, something else is about this that I gotta see. Yeah. Dion going. What if it right had now. options though? If you were like Fast and the Furious. Doctor Strange, Paw Patrol. <laughs> well, that's the thing, though. It's all about, for me, it's about credibility. Like, when I talk to people and if I've had a great opinion, like, for example, when we all watch the movies that we watch and we talk about them and we're like, oh, man, you know, we have a similar opinion. These are opinions I will uh, take into account when trying something new. 
But if it's like, if I've disagreed with you on something being fire and you tell me something is dope and I'm like, that shit was not dope. I'm not going to listen to you. So you saying Paw Patrol in the theater, I'll be like, all right, well, fuck it. Let me go see what's up. You know what I'm saying? If it's Mm -hmm. that fucking good. Like if you said Chippendale was only in theaters, I'm like, I'm going. I'm going to choose a time where kids are in school so I can enjoy this shit. But if you were to tell me, uh, (laughs) what's a good example of a trash ass movie? If you told me Morbius, because me and Dion saw this shit together. (laughs) If Dion... If Dion said, hey, yo, you know that new shit is? What? What, what is it, Dion? I'm starving tonight. night. <laughs> what is it, Dion? Oh, man, that Morbius. You got to go see that Morbius. That would have been the last time I ever listened to him. I'm on the edge of my seat. Tell me, CP. Tell me. Morbius, nigga. Morbius. Morbius listen, but hold on. Look, look. Just, just, so we, just so we also clear, look. Morbius wasn't bad, but it wasn't great. All right. Listen, it was- it's not even listen, Will, because I'm not letting you finish this sentence, man. You gotta understand. <laughs> Morbius. <laughs> we knew, listen, I wanted it to win. I love Jared Leto. Like when I look at Jared Leto mm-hmm. on film, I'm like, this guy is a star. He's got something, right? Yeah. The movie had so much promise mm-hmm. until he flew to the roof. <laughs> And Tyrese was right behind him. I said, I've had enough. This is not possible. It's missing like three chapters of the, of the film. Yes. <laughs> Who told the editor to cut anything? This was ridiculous. <laughs> then he's I, just I, an I, orange I, jumpsuit? Come on, man. Yeah, I will say that, man. <laughs> he I, went I, from the roof. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, yeah. He had a <laughs> sale already <laughs> picked out. I say, nigga, where is the due process? This is not how the law works. <laughs> I just like how <laughs> I like how Morbius. <laughs> Morbius is now like CT's bottom. Like he's like, bro, oh, yeah. you stay Morbius. <laughs> no, nah, because it was like you kind of get mad too as a black person. You'd be like, listen, I ain't never seen a white man get put in the orange jumpsuit. That man pants. Never. <laughs> and he's white. Exactly, right. Will. Right. Come on, how man. Dare, how dare y'all show this inaccuracy? <laughs> and you then, gave me a white jumpsuit and federal, then I may have believed. <laughs> he got a whole number already. Bro, when we I saw like six months of due process, <laughs> skipped it all. This nigga didn't have no court appearances. You mean to tell me he went from questioning to an orange jumpsuit? Nigga, y'all missing some scenes, guys. And, and at the very end of the movie, they just kept showing Tyrese more and more angry. I'm like, he they gotta show us why he's this mad, fam. You yeah. can't just be that mad off top. Yeah, right. Yeah. Like, was your brother on this boat he killed all the <laughs> Right. Before? This makes no you're, sense. You're very aggressive about this. Yeah. But speaking of aggressive, um DC before we get ready to close out, DC um just switching gears seems to keep wanting to get a little bit more progressive, but I, I'm not sure. How progressive this is. Now, we're going back to our group chat, like we said. Mm -hmm. um, And I believe, I think it was Deuce that introduced this, Mm -hmm. that um, DC is about to uh, uh, release a new character into the DC universe, which is a combination (laughs) of Batman and Superman. (sighs) The strength and abilities of Superman, but the wisdom and tactic approach to Batman. That's that's too much. It's it's uh, all, it's all I know is this. I know nobody wanted to say it, but I feel like in the DC comic world, the murder rate for black people is gonna shoot up with this character. <laughs> I, 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 I'm sorry. I just feel I feel like I feel like all white people was like, we just need one. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's called it's called Batman Superman's World's Finest Number Four. That's that's what's the uh, the comic it is, and that's coming out for it. It looks. I mean, the character design is dope to me. It is. It is. I like the character design, but it's like, so you're telling me you gave a dude the powers of an alien, which is pretty much unstoppable, and you gave him Batman's bank account? Oh, <laughs> yes. This is the most dangerous motherfucker in this in this damn universe. He has to be a villain. We gotta do he that. He gotta be. <laughs> you, there's no way this dude is not a villain. And even seeing the picture that was being displayed, it was like, I feel like something about the Green Lantern got to do with this too. Or this dude gets more stronger with Kryptonite. So what they, <laughs> this, this, it's, it said um, Devil Neza has magical abilities that has teamed up with the likes of Dr. Alchemy and Mirror Master to turn Wonder Woman into clay and corrupt Green Lantern. So that's the story of why 
they had to merge together to fight and everything. So, but yeah. So um, you're telling me in this in this comic universe, Batman and Superman are Goku and Vegeta. <laughs> yes! yeah, they and these motherfuckers them fused. <laughs> they fused. <laughs> to beat it. This is listen, man. This is exactly number one why I don't read comic books. And two, <laughs> this is why I can't. It's getting harder to defend DC, bro. You gotta understand, man. <laughs> Defending DC comics is like having a little brother that you have to continuously tell people, please don't hit him when I'm not around. Yeah, that's he hilarious. talks a lot of shit. Because <laughs> I know you want to hit him. You know your brother over here making these CW Flash seasons. <laughs> I, know. I know. And CT, I'm in the same boat as you because on my podcast, I'm the DC guy. And everybody else, be, I'm like, so... Wait, wait. keep Will, keep going. I know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know your brother over here uh, got arrested for drinking, man. <sighs> I heard. Now you, hey, bro, now, now you you heard that your, your brother decided to put out this bullshit Justice League and not the original version, right? Yeah, I talked to him. Uh, I talked to him this morning, bro. Just look, do me a favor, man. Let me let me pull him to the side and <laughs> just don't hit him, okay? I'll I'll talk to him. How this many is what it's like. is your brother gonna release? Nigga, when you said CW, nigga, do you understand that Gotham Knights is about Whoa, to be a television oh show with the worst casting since the so reboot of Barney in 93? Bro, so I got so pissed off at that poster when I, I said, what is this? What is this? You already <laughs> set it up on Titans if you don't oh. have anybody to be the heirs yeah. of Batman. Man. But you're giving us children? Who's yeah. playing Batman? Not only that, not only are you giving us children. You're not even giving us people we know. Like even the ones in the beginning, one is is none of the Robins. His name is like Christian something. Another one is supposedly Joker's daughter, and I'm just like, so on, are y'all just mad because Damian technically black, and y'all don't want to put him out? <laughs> they don't want it. It's like so we just we just not gonna give no no love to Damian. Like Damian, Batman got a whole son. We just refuse to let acknowledge till it's time to make the cartoons and let him be a badass. Like, can we just give us, the, can you give us that? When you see, first, okay, I thought that they canceled Batwoman. I thought they canceled Legends of Tomorrow. I thought they canceled Black Lightning and the entire CW lineup with the exception of The Flash so that they could move everything revamped to HBO Max. Yep. That's yeah. what but when you start creating new bullshit ass shows, I'm like, why are you negating the audience that you've already built up just to create more CW bullshit? Yeah, but you, but you may have a point though in saying that because with what they're coming out now that you say that, that does make a little more sense because now it makes sense as to have Gotham Knights with people we don't know, so we don't get confused by it. So you might actually have a point as to why they are canceling a lot of these big names. Because I'm noticing DC is doing a lot of, like, like CW, excuse me, are doing a lot of stuff with characters we really don't know, yeah. off-brand mm -hmm. characters. But I am seeing HBO stepping it up a little bit more mm -hmm. with DC. Yeah. So it, what it seems like is CW is not going to give up their contract uh, <laughs> for DC shows. And so it's like, yo, we got to keep creating different spinoffs that's going to get something. Because why the fuck Stargirl needed a show? <laughs> not well, sure. See, that, that's what we said on our podcast. We was like, it feels like they already had the Gotham Knights name, and then when when HBO started taking on DC, they was like, well, we still got this. They were like, all right, fuck it, just put anything to that. And like, just I like the the synopsis that they gave us and everything. I just I don't you know. Ready like, for this? Everything is this. So trash. This is the solution to the CW problem. CW, you're welcome. I'll take uh, a check. You don't have to give me any credit. <laughs> And I want a big ass check for this. Okay, <laughs> you want to do no name spinoff DC characters, or I won't say no name. You want to do DC characters that will have no influence in the HBO Max universe or the DC EU. Great. We'll say C tier, C tier characters. C tier characters. Copy. Give us a Static Shock show so you can have the Static Shock universe involved on CW. What this will require is, yes, you will have to hire black and Latin actors. Yep. But what this will do for your network is this will do the exact same thing for your network that Warner Brothers did with the WB and UPN in the early 2000s, the late 90s, which was give you all these motherfucking numbers 
And after you have your numbers and your ratings and now you're back on top, now you can slowly filter out the black and the Latin people on your network. And then you can go back to doing your white shows. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, give us the characters that at least audiences are name familiarized with mm -hmm. instead of taking the uh, the Gotham Knights route with these uh, junior high school kids that could not win a fight against each other. Or look like they grew up in Gotham. No, none of, them look no like none of them they look like they grew up in, they look like they there on a on a school project bro like take y'all asses people? back to central city and sit down somewhere <laughs> barry looking for y'all i know barry looking for barry looking for y'all <laughs> barry is looking hey, they look so trash curfew? wait quick side note i'm still watching the flash i had ct like last week i'm like bro you still watching it no Damn it. I've been gone was, since episode because like, one. Because episode the, the, one? <laughs> no, no, episode one of season eight. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, I've been awesome doing this <laughs> so <laughs> infuriating. Like, CT, bro, if you watch this season, bro, it would piss you off to the highest. It is pissing me off so much. You and know I what it did? Like to I saw, yeah, he DM'd me like, yo, you still watching The Flash? I said, absolutely not. <laughs> uh, and that's the first time I've ended a show prematurely like yeah. usually i'm a slave to a show like if i start it, i have to finish it when i watched flash season eight episode one and i saw that the flash wasn't even in it this motherfucker was in a hospital bed the entire i said oh i think i'm done here you understand me? Oh so yeah. when it happens like that, bro, I can't watch it. And when you look at other shows like that, like when I saw an episode of The Flash like three seasons ago and they had uh, Ultraviolet, whatever her name is, who's mm -hmm. on Team Flash, she yeah. had her own episode. I'm like, this would have been great as a B story. Yes, not yeah. an A story. And that's when I was mm -hmm. like, they're not even giving us the title character that we want. Yeah. No. no, I think it's one of those like we're at eight and it's like you keep approving it and so no one's saying no, but <laughs> the sad part about it is, and I don't think CW ever is catching this and they kind of need to stop it. You will never repeat Supernatural. No. Supernatural no. went on for 15 seasons because it could. And mm -hmm. the fact that the two actors were, were content with continuing to shoot. Well, they had already could've said, we'll shoot until they can. And it could have kept going. But since because of the pandemic and stuff, it seemed like they was like, yo, this is the perfect time to hang it up. And mm. it was great. The ending, if you watch Supernatural, it would oh, make you cry. Man. It definitely bruh. make you cry. Chopping yeah. onions, bro. Chopping <laughs> uh, You be like, yo, I, that, ain't, that, ain't, that ain't me crying, bro. <laughs> man. <laughs> like, yo, also, it does. Kind of characters are expensive, too. You know. Yeah. They go this long. They start getting expensive. It's like, okay, how can we make some money off of some, well, accentuate some 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 subsidiary uh characters that can possibly branch off to be somebody else so, subsidiary but absolutely i think when those characters you knew it was coming when you see those characters i do and i know he comes no i do with supernatural if you have the like the audience that they had like people continue to tune in i don't know if their ratings ever drop but with the flash i've watched the ratings drop. Yeah. I literally looked on Wikipedia the other night because what I used to do when I started my uh, my sketch comedy on YouTube and Facebook, I would compare my weekly uh, reach numbers to other shows that I watched. So yeah. I remember one week or yeah, one week I was like, oh, man, I had five million, you know, eyes on me this week. And I looked at Flash. and They had like two million. And I was like, I'm beating the Flash. So Dang. now, like, if you looked at the past seven seasons, the Flashes went from uh, like three and five million down to one million and seven hundred thousand, and it's like it's showing that the quality isn't there anymore, and they keep going and not giving us what we want as an audience. Well, it's because they crap the 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 formula. They think because it worked for Arrow, it works for Flash. Isn't it? Arrow don't have no powers, no. So this makes sense why he has a team. Yes, the Flash. You still haven't given us all of the flash powers yet in the nope. eight years y'all have had we still have not seen all of the flash's powers so it's like yo why do you keep giving us different characters that this guy keeps adding on to this team yeah and still too i'm still the main question that everybody keeps trying to figure out who the fuck is paying for star labs <laughs> Who, who's keeping this big ass stadium open? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't y'all almost destroy half of Central City? What is who's funding this? Who's funding this? Because they, they love it in Barry. 
they tried, yeah, they tried to, to they, address they, it. They tried to have like the um the like you can do like you can do walkthroughs and stuff like that. And, but then it, they, they didn't they didn't stick with the story. Here's the it. problem with the walkthroughs, bro. And I'm gonna just say this plainly: you can't have a walkthrough. <laughs> Of Star Labs, when this nigga is the Flash and his team is solving crimes down the hall, and nobody knows. <laughs> if I'm nobody. on tour, I'm sneaking around. Yeah. Man, how many? How many times has this place been attacked? And ain't nobody. You mean? You mean Iris ain't never reported somebody attack on Star Labs while somebody never. there? And ain't his suit is in that. plain sight. This nigga <laughs> suit is hanging right there. They, nigga, this. <sighs> yeah. Hey, is one of y'all the Flash? Just, I ain't never seen anybody <laughs> just walk into the meeting like. <laughs> yeah, Flash. Flash. Hey, hey, bro, hey, bro, hey, bro. We having a meeting right now. <laughs> I get you. I get you. I recognize I'm, your voice. I'm back. Can I take uh, a picture real quick before I leave? Right. Can I? Can I get a? Can I get a selfie real quick? Just. just and real then quick. let me tell you what's been happening over the past two and a half seasons. Barry keep telling everybody who will listen. He the Flash nigga. Everybody he talked to. <laughs> this nigga. It used to be. <laughs> It Yo! used to be that he get, you know, he get vulnerable with somebody. He got to save you from killing yourself or killing somebody. And he's like, hey, I'm the Flash. Nowadays, niggas be like, hey, you got the time on you? Yeah. Now you want to know it's the time for me to tell you that I'm actually the Flash. It's the part that really, me. the part that it ain't really even surprising no more. The part like, that really think... pisses me off about the Flash is that yeah. we seen Barry and his team defeat everybody. And then he's fighting these normal ass villains, and he has a, a, in every episode he having a moment like, oh, I don't know if we can do this. I don't know if I'm the person. I'm like, I don't know, nigga, guys. you fought gods. Like, what do you mean you can't do <laughs> I this? Know, guys. I can't beat this guy with these magic fingers. This dude, <laughs> these magic fingers. I might have to give up being a Flash. Can you guys take care <laughs> just, of the city without me? Just, what the fuck? You are just we doing? have to. You just have to run, Barry. I. You run. just have to. I have run. to run. Everybody done said it. Everybody I'm, said, run, Barry, run. Like, and then they keep saying it to everybody else now. Yeah. Run, Iris, run. Like, I'm I'm out, bro. Right. <laughs> run, I'm ultraviolet. Out. That's not even my power. <laughs> That's not even my power. <laughs> like, even like to Deuce Point, like how you just said, CT, like the new season, like people don't even care that when he revealed himself, he was like at the new cafe and he was like, I have to tell you something. I'm the flat. I'm Barry. I'm like, I already knew who you were. I knew who you were. You did? What? Like, yes. It's not that hard. You don't show up to work. You're late all the time. <laughs> you don't you show disappear. Up to work. It's not that hard to figure out so what you're since, doing. Since, since we here, spoiler alert, anyways, they killed Killer Frost, right? But oh, but God. but Kate is there. So I'm like, why is every why is everybody so sad right now? Because no. <laughs> like it, it the payoff wasn't there for me. I'm like, <laughs> not, 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 only here. not only that, not only that. A dead version of her boyfriend Firestorm is the one that killed him. So he, oh. this, somehow this 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 magical being has been sitting in another dimension, then fused with her ex boyfriend oh eight years ago that died, and been pining over her ever since, and was just like, "I'm gonna break the space dimensional rift, <laughs> so I don't have to be alone no more." I was like, "For her." <laughs> Oh. I'm like, no offense to kill the frost, but I'm like, hey man, come roll with me. I can show you some shouties on Tinder. That's <laughs> way better than this. <laughs> shouties on He's Tinder. You doing all this killing, brother? Hold on, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't see poison ivy in them and, and got them? Like it's you lit know, over there. You know Milano? You ever heard of Milano? You see, you heard a new song with Mariah? Let me, let me, let me introduce you to her. I think, I think you and Lotto would oh, be very well together. Yeah, I gotta oh, go. Man, right. Yeah, before we get out of here, man. <laughs> As always, I want to thank everybody for joining and taking the time to come listen to us talk about everything that's from comics, entertainment, and everything. So a quick little uh, shout out. I'm going to let CT go first because he does have a heart out. Just let people know where to find you and everything, and we'll close this thing out. Ladies and gentlemen, patreon.com slash CT is dope. CT is dope on everything. Thank y'all for having me, man. Always a pleasure kicking with y'all. I see you, boys. Yes, sir. Dion, you are up next. Are we in thirds? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Salutations. The unlock. That's it. <laughs> <We're> familiar. <laughs> All right, let me get my music box ready. <laughs> no, I, mean, I got better, man. I got better, man. At young underscore deuces, patreon.com backslash geek set, man. Go there. You know what I'm saying? We're pushing that too as well. So hey, yep. hey, yo, mad mad props. I've seen your your guests, man. I'll be I'll be highly impressed and, 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 yes. and all that shit. 
Thanks, bro. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Yes, indeed, man. Y'all already know where to find me. It's Will Farrell, everything P H A R A O H. Make sure you check out the Strat of a Comic Book. Be sure to check out the arcade tokens and all Death Cannabis. New content coming out for the summer. We're going to keep this thing cracking. And thank y'all for tuning in. Let us know how y'all feel about the Chip and Dale movie. And like we said, we want to see a Dark Wing Duck movie. Uh, a Darkwing Duck spinoff to this Roger Rabbit universe. Let us know in the comments. What, who, what character would you like to see get a spotlight just like Chip and Dale? And Bunker. we will catch you. Bonkers. He was in there. He was in there, too. Mm -hmm. So I was like, yo, I, I could definitely see that, too. So, yeah. but yes, we will catch you next time. Yeah. Catch me on all deaf heroin. Uh <laughs>